Uncle Mark, welcome to my uh, do-it-myself channel. If you're looking to, uh, or if you have a 96 or ish Buick Park Avenue or Sabre and you're having trouble with the physical ignition switch, I'm gonna show you how to take it out, take the steering wheel off and take uh, most of your signal switch out too. I've, uh, it's fairly extensive. Uh, I'll put some chapters in the bottom in the description there if you wanna jump ahead a little bit in case uh, you know, you're not having this exact segment of problem. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't even know if that's English. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, I wish I would have had something else to help me out, but you know me, I'll tinker with it. Usually we get through it without breaking anything. This is one of those videos. So see if it's, oh sure, now it's not going to, it's going to work, the key's okay. No, no, it thinks the key's in the ignition again. So it does this off and on, off and on. See there's no key in there. Open the door, thinks the key's in the ignition, so it won't let you do some things you shouldn't be able to do with the key in the ignition, like lock the doors. So we'll stick it in here, and oh, now it's stopped. A lot of times it's like if it's been running. Here, let's try it. Run mode, pull it out there, see? So you'd have to stop it. Once you open the door, it says all the keys in there. You'd have to put it back in, jiggle it a couple times. That's the problem I'm up against. let's take off the uh, negative battery post. I got one of these little battery uh, terminal ratcheting things. There. Trying to put a link in the description here so to get this out we're gonna have to do some fancy stuff first we're gonna have to uh, take this off we're gonna take the steering wheel off too now yours may not have these but don't worry about that for now what you do is you're gonna come around the back and i'll show you what we've got back here there's just two screws holding this whole airbag thing in So there's one on this side, I'll have to get out, it's a Torx. And there's one on the other side, I if we can get you around. It's gonna be hard to see, but uh, there it is there. All right, well, let's do them first. So this is a T30. I'm just gonna put it on my ratchet. doing go the right way there we go I've got to lose I don't know if it's, it should come all the way out, I think, or they'll just stop. Seems like it's binding now, so I think it's it's let go of the horn. Let's go on the other side. Your turn signal switch might be out, move it out of the way, or you could always turn the steering wheel. I've got um, the key off right now. Let's see if I can get that in there. 
this turn signal thing might all be in the way. Here, let me just, I think we're gonna have to turn the steering wheel. You guys still with me? You can see. Can't you? I can't see, but you can see. It's a lot easier. It'll be easier for you guys just because you won't be trying to film at the same time. I'm trying to film. I've got lights everywhere. I've got light right here. The light above me. I can't believe how long it takes to do some of these, just setting up some of this stuff. But I've seen a few of these videos where you can't see what they're doing. You kind of know where they are, but you just don't know what they're doing. So all of a sudden it gets kind of tight. So I'm thinking that's probably as far as we need to go. There we go. It's coming all the way out. Let's get you a little higher. Just come out. Hmm. You're probably gonna to wanna to see this. So hopefully you can see this, uh, this yellow guy here. There's a little clip, you just pull out. A screwdriver or something like that. Tab just kind of should go that way. So here's the tab, right? I'm going to want to pull this out, but on the back here, I see. Looks like we either have to push it down or pull it up. Push that tab down. And then pull. Come on. There we go. See what it looks like? Okay. Don't lose that. No, I should just unplug. Just need to push this side down and move it that way. It should just unplug. Come on. I can't see what I'm doing, but you guys can. You know what I'm doing, right? Oh, goodness. Guess we had a little plastic screwdriver that would work, wouldn't it? Holy doodles, huh? Come on. There we go. Just because I'm trying to balance everything here, but you just have to push this down like that and it would snap out of there. So that's for your airbag, that's the yellow one. And you may want to pull, it was tucked in here. This little, we're gonna need it off of there anyway. There's another one. This is for all your steering wheel controls. Let's, uh, let's undo some of these things here first. This one. It's for your horn, I believe, if you push it in, and I think you undo it, like turn it um, counterclockwise, it'll come out. So you just push in and turn. I can hold you there. Remember. I'm just gonna grab it with something I can grab with. Does that make sense? You're gonna push in and turn it. There you go. So you see this little tang right there that just locks in there so that's i believe is your horn there's a ground here too just gonna grab that and pull it off of there and is there one more thing oh yeah we've got uh need my baby screwdriver but i don't have it Pull this wire out of here. There you go, just to give us a little more slack on this side. And we're gonna try to undo this. Do you see how that was clipped right onto here? I just can't see how this comes apart. You 
it pulls down or pulls up. Pulls up and moves. So it looks like, there, I can see better. This has got a little hook right here. And uh, this top piece is part of this piece here. If you can hook that up and out, it should just pull. I'm hoping this way. Oh, come on. There you go. Did you see that? Okay, now we can move this dangerous airbag out of the way. I put that somewhere where I'm not going to drop it or it's not going to get knocked off. Now, you note these two little bolts here and here are those ones we undid it from the back there. They're captured in here, so they won't go anywhere. But So we need to do now, take this off. Not sure what size it is, but we will find out. Before I forget, I would like to put the string wheel straight again because I don't want to forget how it was. We're as close to straight as we can. Is it locked there somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Just because I'm going to put the string wheel back on, whoa, it's probably. Gonna wanna. Ah. That's not too bad. You know, I don't want it all cockeyed, and then you're gonna go through all this trouble of figuring out what straight it is again. The wheels are straight, so. Okay. I've misplaced my big. Ratchet. So I'm just using. Hmm. I don't imagine this is going to come off without a steering wheel puller. But I've seen. We're going to try something. Put this back on. Not all the way, just basically flat with, with that. There's about a, I don't know, you get something in under here, so there's some room. I'm going to whack this with a big hammer, and I'm going to push on this with my knees. Let's see if it works. <laughs> this is an old trick I've seen before. So I'm going to be pushing with my knees up. Can I get the middle of this thing? Is no, I I tried that. I don't want to wreck something. Don't lose this stuff. Let's get a steering wheel real puller. I hope it's got what we need in it. It's an oldie. Just playing around with this, and you'll notice uh, that these have different types of threads. Some are coarse, some are fine. So you'll have to try and see which ones are which. It looks like it's that one. This one. I don't know what go in. It's gonna be this one. Or not. Well, what's it with that? This one? Is it? Ah. Course. There we go. Okay. That easy to goof up on. So this goes in the little hole there, kind of. That's where it's gonna go. And that's not long enough. Turn this out. I'm gonna use something like this for let's say he was a teenager. I don't know what I was taking apart. They work in my mom's car or something. So it's a long time ago. Uh, we're hoping if we can get these tight in there. Far enough in so we don't wreck anything. And then just turn this guy out. 
up up there somewhere. And then, need something to turn that whip. I'm back. If you have a good set of sockets, I think it's non-metric. Well, maybe you can use something else. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And we're just going to try and get it to sit in there right for one thing. Maybe this side needs to go down a little more. And this side needs to come up. Come on. There we go. Wow. Huh. This thing is pulling funny. Let's see. Get these to go in a little further. I want to in far enough because if you somehow were uh, to have them kind of loose and they stripped out of there, boy, you'd be up the creek. your way. Oh, that's better. You're more confident than that. Good. Okay, those are hanging on now. Come on. I think it's an old set in their SAE size bolts. And my set here is not. I'll tell you, oh, it was kind of scary. <laughs> Pull these out of here. I don't mind saying, looks like it's gonna break. That'd be horrible. Let's get these off of here. We won't need this anymore. Okay. Try and put a string wheel puller in the description if you want. Remember which way is right side up on this. Obviously the numbers not are. We'll sit that down there. So now that we have this off, we're gonna to want to pull this out. And it looks like it's got a snap ring in there. Can you see it? So, we'll take that out. And this has to go back in the special way. See how the top here is uh, got a little hump there? That goes right in the top of the column. So let's remember that. Got to put that back in that way. But let's get this snap ring out first. So we've just got a pair of these, a little snap ring. I hope they're small enough. I think they are. Oh yeah. Come on. See this white paint on there. I guess so that anybody would know that somebody had been in here before. Let me get this off of here. So I don't know if you see this little dude out of white paint there or something. Also on here too. Yeah, I'm gonna set that in the dash. 
right there. And I'm going to do stuff in order. That actually goes there first. Set you back here. You good? So this should just, I believe it'll just come out. It's, I think it just sits there. I don't understand why it's not coming out. It's just a bunch of different colors, little guy. That's why the, it's just so old and probably a little bit, uh, there we go. Might help to do that as we saw. keep it all as a whole now because there's wires I think that go in that now it's hard to see but there's wires that actually go into the column so I'm hoping this will go far enough if I can pull those wires far enough you see the wires are down in here and they just go down the column but hopefully there's enough give Remember, this is gonna go, this is gonna go up, right, right there. This has to meet up with this a thing for your horn in there. Remember that little this guy right here. So I'm just gonna see if I can just it just has to go past that. Just oh, there we go. Oh, good. Let's see if that'll fold any further. I guess it doesn't really need to. Oh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close. We are getting close. This has got to come off next. Oh, there's another piece in here, this little sp spring. I guess this is what was pushing against, I don't know what you call this. You see what it looks like anyway, it's not flat. Set this on the dash there. So uh, it probably was pushing this thing this way against the spring. Now what? How does this come out? Oh, I think there's another. I can just. Looks like there's some kind of a, um, what do you call it? If you look right at the bottom there, see this right there. Like, this has to be pushed. And supposedly in the old days if you got a couple people you could push it down but i thought you here but i thought no i'm gonna get a tool for it you know i got that out of the way this right here is my tripod <laughs> this thing so don't worry about that but just watch if you push oh yeah the old days i think you'd hurt yourself so i got a tool ordered online because i knew i was going to do this yeah, I hope it's the right tool. It's made for this. What is this thing called? It's a steering wheel lock plate, because this is our, your lock plate, right? Uh, you see this button right here? Um, it locks. Where's my keys? When you turn this, it pulls out of the way. So just watch. See that button there? So it goes out of the way. And this would turn with your steering wheel, right? And that's why when you take your key out, that little button jumps into whatever spot that is. And you get what do we call a locking steering column, I guess. Whoa. So the way this tool works, and it's cost me a few bucks, is it's supposed to screw on the top here, supposedly. I'll show you from the side. So I ordered this online, so uh, I'll put a link in the description. But that basically screws on there, right? And this, as we turn it down, you understand how this is going to work? Okay, so I'm going to tighten this now. I don't know if you can. Just give me a second here and I'll move it back just to show you how this is going to work. You see how it's a handle with a wing nut and that's pushing on the edges there. So if I crank this, it should just push, and it is. Look at that. 
Go ahead and get you in closer and see what's going on here. Okay, I was just talking to myself. I'm going to try and hold it with one and pull with the other. cheap little pick here that I've got, not the blue one, but this one, the handle's spinning on it. It's like, really, guys? Junk, I need to order another one, I guess. This guy needs to spend more than two bucks on one. Whatever it was worth. I don't know where my straight one is. Probably, oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. I thought it would have popped out a lot easier. They probably have some special tool, or they don't. And I'm just making myself feel good that, or bad. How come I can almost pry it? Can we pry it on the other side too? Oh man. It will come out eventually, right? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Can I? It's gonna take time, right guys? At uh, how much dollars an hour they would charge you? I think we've got the time. Got the day off, did my morning work first. So it was done by 9.30ish. Oh, there we go. Whoa, no, I had it. Just get it to come this way now. Maybe we can leave that like that. If I can do the same, whoa, to the other side, somehow. So here, let's just let it go of it. Okay, must be a spring behind there. That'll give us a little more room, maybe we can get this off now. So we see the, uh, it's falling into the other hole there. So we can get that out. Somehow. Flip it up to there, it's probably gonna do the same thing and then get it all the way out. I think we can do it. If needle those pliers would work a little better. Oh, there we go. Get it, keep getting it going. Here we go. There. It'll be easier to put it back on. You know the drill, we're, what we do with this, right? We put it on the dash with the other stuff in order, because we're not going to remember this order, are we? Okay. Now, I believe this should come out. 
can only go on one way again because it's got this hole here, which is going to be this piece. Uh, but still, it won't hurt. This is the only hole. The rest of them are actually squares, if you can see. But Put that up with the other stuff, just like we said before. Um, should this come out? If you take that out, these two bumps are going to line up with something right there. Remember, it goes at like the 10, 11 o'clock position. So with all the other stuff, there's a spring in here. See, so there's stuff in order, right? Just in case, I think before we, this does move, but this piece does, right? When your steering wheel moves, and I don't, I don't know. What if it accidentally, it only has so many turns, right? To go left, like three turns or whatever, and then three turns right. So if you were already one turn over, you can only go two that way, you'd break the little piece that's inside there. So I'm just, you know what I mean? Or maybe you don't. Doesn't matter if you understand what I'm saying or not. I'm gonna tape it up. Oh, tape is cold. It's cold in the garage here, and I know the car's got snow on it. I don't necessarily want to warm the garage up because then all the snow is going to melt and that ends up being a flood in here and it's a real mess to clean up. I think we're just going to do something like that, maybe. Because this piece will kind of stop it from moving around. Too, so let's just put tape on either side of it and then it can't go anywhere. Does that make sense? Okay, now back to this. I'm trying to take these little guys out of here, and this is a Phillips number. I think it's a two. Whoa! It was a two. Number two. So that's that one. Dash. So we need, I guess we need this one. Whoa. I think that just sits in there, yeah. Ugh. One to dash two. There you go. Okay, now how does this come out? Does this just come out? I would have thought it just comes out. Hmm. Uh, did we not go far enough? There's another one there, I guess. Oh, and there's one down there. This is also Phillips? No, oh, they feel like they're Torx. Looks like it's this one, and this one says it is a T20. I'm going to suggest you could use something like this, but I am going to use T20. Just to show you, can you see the torques in there? We'll do this top one first. I guess you could get a set of these. Um, ooh, you want to lose that. Fall down the steering column, wouldn't that be nice? So in here. Doesn't seem to be magnetic, or is it? Uh, kind of is. Where's the third one down in here? Hope we know what we're doing. Ugh. Saw my dad do one of these way back. It was fairly similar. No airbag though, and no high beams on the signal light. <laughs> Will that come out now? It might. I just gotta think the wire going down the steering columns. How long? Uh, how does this work? Oh. Along the side here, this uh, hazard switch. Will this work? Mm, looks like it might, but. 
No. Okay, let's try a smaller one. The number says CRVPH1. So that means anything to you? Phillips 1? No pHs? Wish I could see what I'm doing. Oh, it feels like it's grabbing. There you go. Doesn't, whoa, on the dash too? Well, and it all falls apart. Let's see if we can pull this baby out. How's this? Man, it's so close. I don't actually need it out anyway. I just need to get to two pieces on here. Oh, man. Will it come out a little bit? Oh, maybe it will. For gentle and just wiggle. It feels like it is. So remember, you just hooked up the whole bunch of wires, so just trying to gently pull them. Mm-hmm. I think I see what our problem is here. Well, maybe not. No, I don't. Can I just go just a little further? Just a little bit further, don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Come on. Okay. Well, I see why my security light is on. Because uh, somebody's bypassed something here. You see this little white wire here? Not hooked up to nothing. And you see this other wire here? Is also looks like it's gonna, it's probably, probably, oh yeah, partially broken. So I think somebody has um, changed. Where are my keys going now? If you look at your keys, you have that little pellet in there. The pellet's actually a little resistor. This thing right here, if you never noticed before, it's actually a pellet. If you measure from both sides, you should get a resistance. I think there was, I don't know, 16 of these different types of pellets. So somebody's measured that because this broken didn't want to go through all this trouble and put has put a resistor, that same resistor, this should be way down at the bottom. And you'll notice this is such a goofy system. Watch those wires, these two wires right here. It's white wire. You turn the ignition, see how it all moves around? When do they break after a while? But I want to know where that thing is for this key. So let's just pull this out already. How does this come out? I think uh, probably right there for sure. Oh, I think this thing comes out. Somehow. It's for a string wheel something or others. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how it comes out. I thought it just kind of sat there, but yeah, I could be wrong. Sitting is a little tougher to... Mm -hmm. Let's see how far we can go with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that didn't sound very good, did it now? So what we want will this come out with some oh, come on. it's like it's magnetic but just not magnetic enough do we dare oh it's long too I'm grab it with two fingers that's why look how long it is now I think it might come out. Put that there. There we go. Okay, let's stop right here. Now these wires, these two white wires in the right top, yeah, right there, and this orange one are all one long wire. Uh, now you don't want to wreck them because uh, they're part of your anti-theft system. If they're broken, this car will not start. Now this, of course, we mentioned has been modified. So be careful, don't break them. I am going to cut them because uh, I don't need them, but uh, you're going to have to figure out how to take this out if you're replacing this whole locking mechanism yourself. Uh, this video doesn't go into that. Sorry about that. 
to its wires. Mm hmm. Now we know they're broken anyway. So you know what I'm gonna do? There's the one. Um, grab some snips, a knife. They could just be broken off. One doesn't work, they both don't work. You know what I mean? Anyway, I just, whoa, this is what I wanted to see where. How does it know the key is in? What is making it go beep, 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 beep? I don't understand what it's grounding out at, too. Hmm. That's it right there. You know, that's what turns. Don't don't pull that out. Uh, okay. Okay, this just came out. I was I grabbed it with my two fingers by accident, and I think this is how this works. Uh, somehow this spring. Couple contacts and whatever this one does here. If you just notice this little piece right here, you put the key in and it pops out. I think it's supposed to be spring loaded, but it doesn't seem to spring back. Not sure why. I don't know if we should try this or not, but I'm going to try and just spray some the big WD in there. I don't want it in the actual key part. I just want it in the part here that's letting everybody know if, um, if the key's in the ignition or not. I think what we can do is we can put the key back in the ignition. All these stupid wires. Now I should just snip them off right here. I know it's broken. Don't, okay, don't, don't, don't watch this part. You do that to yours, and it'll never run again. I'm just gonna do that because I know. This has been fiddled with before. All right. Now, I'll put this back. Which way does this work now? Okay, so it's. I believe it's which way is this going on? Let's go down like this. Of course, we were paying attention to how it went before. There we go. Good. So I think we told you this part has to line up with a piece inside there. If you monkey with it, it's not going to start because it's actually turning a switch down in the way down there. Should only go in one way. I should only go in one way. And if you just so we turn that back, put our horn button, which this acts as a spring, I guess, too, which grounds out the key. I believe. First, we'll put our. Um, really a long screw back in. Now, let's we'll see if we can uh, put this back in. So you can see the screw that goes. A little bit worried. So I am going to put a little bit of tape on it. 
just so for sure it doesn't come off. Better sorry than safe. Is that what they say? That goes in here. Okay. Oh, there you go. I saw the... Make sure this is right where it belongs. Okay. So in theory... can see that. I don't know if you can see right down in here, right there, that little thing. That is my issue. I get enough light on the situation here. It's right that little guy right there, that little white guy. Right there. Okay. Um, put this piece back in. Normally where this orange wires are, that'd be those white wires that went into your tumbler there. But as I say, somebody's fiddled with this car before. Fiddly sticks. This just goes in like that and just sits in there. There you go. And hopefully that is going to work now. I guess that's one way we could prove it plug the battery back in and play around with it. Why not, huh? I wondering what's going on, but I've got my signals on or something. I don't make any noise. That works. Or maybe we've just got it never to make noise. Hmm. That might be okay too, but Maybe it's just not going to work. Well, I wonder. Well, this is what's making the beeping. This thing here. Well, I guess I can't prove anything. Let's just, we're going to slowly put it back together. Hopefully I haven't messed it up here. I remember the order this all went back together. And this goes in here. Set something like that. So we'll do that first. It was, um, there we go. It's those little uh, torques, right? I sure like how, I guess it is magnetic, barely. Let's get that in there. Let's see if we can get you better light. Take that baby in there. Okay, now we've got uh, one here and one down there. So let's do this one. You can see that. Okay, now if you ever had to do the turn signal switch, which is this thing here we just took out. You saw the wires, you'd have to unhook them way down at the bottom. You could follow them. And uh, you might have to look at a different video on how to do that. But my trick signals work fine. Okay. Okay, now we've got this little guy here. Remember, there's that funny looking arm thing that goes in here somehow. This is a, like a, it's this little finger. And then there's, it's the dumbest 
I don't know who came up with this design. See the grease in the corner there? Over here, you'll see this little slot that runs. Little slot right here. And that little finger is going to go in there, but just further down. And then there's a, a screw there. And wherever the other screw was up here that this silly piece sits on. It's like, whoever invented that. Shouldn't get invention of the year. And that's how that's going to sit on there. So, wasn't it the little silver one that went on the bottom? But we'll see if we can get it in there anyway. Even if I wasn't recording. I'm not going to make it too tight because this one here has to move over a little bit too. So if you push the stick up, that'll line up where it needs to line up. Okay, that's going to go in this hole. It's going to go in there, I'm trying to hold the light and the turn signal. That seems kind of big. That doesn't go in there, does it? I don't know for sure. It, oh, it has to. Well, that just seems wrong. Screws in. I guess it looks like something GM would do. We have to put our four-way flasher back in the side here. So it's your four-way flashers, right? Hazard. You know which way it goes in? Like this, right? But before that goes in, there's a spring that has to go inside there. And then this piece with my little screw in it. Okay, it just goes in here and it should thread into the switch. If you look in there, you can see it. Oh. Let's get you down here a little bit further. Actually, if you look, you'll be able to see if you're lining up right or not. So I was wondering, now, how does this all go back together, the rest of the pieces? Well, again, remember, hopefully we're smart enough. Let's just go in backwards order. So what we, what's the first item we have here? A spring. Take the spring. And we're just going to slip it over there. And it goes like that, I guess. What's next? Got a copper. Now that... It's going to touch that and rub against this little wheel here and it's going to make contact. So let's sit it like that. It's going to sit. It's going to go all the way in there and hopefully it touches. Then it looks like, so see it's got a little teeth in the middle. Huh? So it's only going to really sit one way on these pieces here. So let's sit that there. Jiggle it around a little bit. We'll line up our, uh, that guy. We need to. It's a little. There you go. And that goes in there. So now we remember what goes on next. Some kind of a piece. Mm hmm. Which has to be. This, right? If we're doing it in order, we're going backwards. So let's slip that over there. Take a couple little picks and tools and stuff. And we're going to try and push that thing back down. If I can 
find my little tools. Actually, maybe I can even just push it with just about anything. Well, not really, huh? That's not hard to do. Except it goes further, doesn't it? It goes way down there, doesn't it? Okay. I'm missing a little pick. Everything else but Timmy's lid, hammer, two toys. Okay. <clears throat> Just using fingernail on one side. Seems to be working not bad. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Now, that $20 tool a tool that I will never, ever, ever use again. Screw it on there. Make sure it's lining up with that. Is that as far as it went? I guess it is. Okay. Um, can you see? I can barely see, but it should go in there. I'm to just push it down. It should just fall in there, right? Come on, snap in there. Fall into your little hole. Uh, I don't know if it did or not. Can't tell. Something's goofy here. No, nope, maybe I needed to crank this other thing. Oh, that's a problem. Um, I turned the handle as far as it could go, but this moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I can see it now. Turn this in a little further. Live and learn. Can you see? That little groove needs to sit in now. I can see it. I can see clearly now. Right in there. So let's try and push that down in there. I remember doing something like this with my dad once without this tool. Hold that down, Mark. Yeah, it's like, oh, but I'm only five and it hurts. Don't be a suck. That's the way I remember. I don't know exactly. Oh, I think it was snapped in there. I'm sure that's how it went. I was whimpering and he was like, be a man, boy. I was like, yeah, but I have sisters that could do this too. Yeah, but you're the oldest. Anyway, it looks like it's in there. Oh, nice. It is. I'll put a link in the description for this. It's kind of cost a few different tools already, hasn't it? That's in there. Nice. All right, what's next? Thanks. So it looks like that goofy little guy goes in here, right? And then something's going to sit against that, which I believe is this thing. And then it looks like another one of those little springs, and then that. Well, that looks easy enough. I think I can do that. Okay, so you just have to just make sure to try and push those in there. They should go in. Like, I can feel it's going in there, but I need them out a little bit. Take the tape off without moving everything around too much. You can already see there's a problem, isn't there? I thought. I'll have to review the tape. I guess not. 
See, we know that's at the bottom. But I was thinking, wasn't this at the bottom too? But it wasn't. So it's going to go. I'm just looking, there's a little switch in the back here too. But that's going to sit here somewhere. It's going to go like this. And then remember that piece, there's a hole here for it. And this goes in between those couple. So it's fairly easy to figure out how this is all going to go together. Now, I'm just wondering about our little wires in the bottom there. Do they need to be pulled or not? I would have thought it's so close. I think if I just push it, the snap ring will go in there. Yeah, it'll go in there. Where's my snap ring? It's on the dash. There's a snap ring. And... Oh, I appreciate you guys following along with me on this. It's really... This video's... You really have to be a diehard Uncle Mark fan to be watching this if you don't have this car. And don't have this problem. Okay, I'm thinking. I can just push it in with a couple of screwdrivers. There it goes. Snap. Like it. Well, all we have left, I guess, is my uh, steering wheel. Up for a minute. I just want to make sure everything's working okay, and it looks like good. I'm not blinking now, wasn't sure. Just wanted to see if the key works or if we screwed it up even more than it was screwed up. Oh, it works and it goes out. I love it. Well. Action line. Uh oh. Something's not happy there, but don't worry about that. Uh, do we dare start it? Oh. Wonderful. Well, I was just wondering with uh, this issue with the key. Well, now I know I can just cut blanks. Well, I'm going to undo the uh, battery again. <sighs> Just because uh, I don't want anything going poof when I put this steering wheel back together. So it looks like everything lines up. That's got to be in the middle. That is. That's in that hole. There's the only way it can go. This one goes to the left. That one's going to go to the right. These are going to clip back into the steering wheel. Let's get the steering wheel and get that steering together. Yeah. I remember uh, which way it goes. That's a clue. So, the wire's gonna come through here. Right side up, hold to the 11 o'clock position. Let's force, uh, well not force, put our wires through here. Just gently pull them through. And, Easier said than done, is it? There we go. Line that up in the middle. Uh, I'm wondering if it was over one. That looks like it wants to sit there, so that's where it's gonna sit. Wow. Okay. Um, So I misplaced my uh, half inch, I'm using half inch tools here. So I've got a neat little, goes from three eighths, makes it bigger to half inch. I don't want to be putting a lot of torque on that, but it will work for this. I'll put one in the description because they come handy sometimes. Like maybe you, uh, I don't know. There's reasons why you'd want to do it. I, uh, I 
looks like it's bottomed out. Okay, if you remember, um, one clips in the bottom there, this one clips in the top here. Then we take this, make sure it's right set up. I think I'm going to try and put this together first because the other wires are a little short. I can go in here if I have it the right way. This is going to clip back in here. I'm going to clip it on there now. Uh, this can go in here. Blue to blue. Somehow that's upside down. That don't make sense. It's got to go this way. That little clip goes in the bottom. I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now to refer to, this, refer to the start of the video. I think we're going to put these on now. So remember, this has got that little... This can actually spin around. It doesn't matter. But as long as it goes in... Where are we here now? Yeah, and hooks in there, spin it around a little bit, and just sits in there, so. Looks like it is. This ground, I believe, I'm gonna tuck it underneath. It's gonna go in here just snaps in there, makes the ground. Airbag. Put that on here. Man. Okay, now don't forget, there's this little green piece that has a snap in there. If you remember, that thing snaps down to go out, so it's going to snap back in, and then this is going to go in to make it so that it cannot close the gap. Try and show you that. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Just position this in here. Make sure everybody seems happy. Everybody seems happy. And we just need our two, um, actually they're in there, right? What size are they? Whoa. They were this size, right? Let's go back in there and tighten them up. I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to tighten this this way. Let's wiggle a little bit as I'm turning. Okay, let's maybe do this side now a little bit. Get it behind here. Actually, I think I want to turn the steering wheel just a little bit. Give myself a little bit of room to... Let's maybe... We went down last time, didn't we? There you go, sorry. Come on, where are you? There we go. Uh, let's turn it the right way. Feels like it's tightening. There we go. Bring the ratchet. Okay, to the other side again. Let's get you around this side here. Let's 
see that. Balance. Let's tighten this guy up now. Let's see socket or ratchet. We're pretty much on the home stretch, guys. Thanks for sticking around with me. Oh, looks like it works. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be the first time in I don't know how long. Will it lock with the door open? It will. Good, nice. Oh, it'd be great to have that working again. So thanks for joining me with this, uh, I know it was a long video. Hopefully for the guys that really needed it, it was, you know, of interest and of help. You can subscribe down here in the very corner. Check out my playlist uh, for other uh, Buick projects. Uh, this is a Park Avenue. It should work with the LeSabres. This is a 96. I'll put down here what I believe um, it should in, uh, encompass as to years and models. Uh, like I say, you can subscribe down in the corner. Check out uh, not only that playlist, but there's other playlists besides uh, Park Avenue. That may help you too. The little dog at the end will show you how to get all the notifications so you don't miss the next video. Till next time, Uncle Mark saying thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye until next time. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. with me. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, balance this here somehow. Okay. Whoa. Is okay? Wanna see? This is our next piece. It's gonna go like that, remember? Take two. You'll notice that this has got little teeth in here too, so it's only gonna sit exactly one way. So, 
Take three. Oh, we've been on the whole time. This thing's still running. Now I'm trying to think uh, how does this all go back together. But I was smart enough. Whoa. Answer my mouth a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're ready. <clears throat> I guess now all I have to do is just clean all this mess up here and all the stuff all over the place. <clears throat> 